Hi everyone and welcome to our daily tarot reading for Monday. So let's see what comes through. I'm going to use the Morgan Greer tarot today and we're just going to see what messages we need to hear. But don't worry about time frames, um, time is fluid and you'll know if this reson resonates with you. So let's see, what do we need to hear? Seven of Pentacles. We've been getting that card a lot lately, so I'm pretty sure we can all tell that we're entering Mercury Retrograde. We're currently in this shadow period. Because the Seven of Pentacles is when we feel like we're waiting. It's when we feel like we have to be patient. So with this card coming up, it's really clear that you are waiting to harvest something, you're waiting for an opportunity, and it really does feel like you're, you're having to embrace this moment of pause. You're having to just be patient with things right now, and it, it could be causing some frustration. Now we also have the Emperor, so this really does feel like either you are waiting for someone to make a move, or you're waiting to make a move yourself. So we'll clarify this further in a moment. But the Emperor is someone who pursues their goals, who goes after what they want. The Emperor doesn't shy away from hard work or even conflict. You know, the Emperor, he literally has his sword in his hand. He's saying, look, I'm ready. I'm ready for whatever um, is thrown at me. So this Emperor, I do feel is most likely someone connecting to you who wants who you are waiting to make a move but it could also be you know you wanting to make that move yourself so let's see but emperor brings communication and decisions so this feels quite big especially with the eagle which is in this card you know i i feel like um the truth is about to be set free waiting for the truth to be set free Perhaps you are waiting for an honest conversation with this emperor, the devil. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. We've got Aries energy too, but don't worry about zodiac signs. So the devil. Something feels restrictive here. It's as if you're waiting for someone to free themselves, to break through an addiction or uh, some kind of like toxic situation. You know, with that devil, it really does seem like something here has become very exhausting, very draining, really unhealthy, an unhealthy habit that you're trying to break um, or you're waiting for someone to break. Now, there is a lot going on here. The energy between you and this emperor it feels like you're both very connected right now, getting lots of dreams and visions about each other. There's also this sense of frustration. I almost feel like things have been turned upside down here. So whoever this person is, it, it's pretty clear that you guys are in a, a tricky situation right now. Ace of Cups. Perhaps you are waiting for this new beginning with this person sorry with this person this ace of cups implies that there is going to be some kind of offer or opportunity i really do see this bird and you know the bird is that it's messages it's um you know it's the messenger spirit animal so it's as if there is going to be a message which you've been waiting for for a long time and this is going to help free you or it could do the opposite. It might pull you back in. So you're going to have to be super grounded so that you know what to do and you are able to stay empowered with all of this. Um, I do know that you've spent a long time being patient here. I just want to emphasize that. And then we have the six of wands. So someone is coming in here to recognize what you have achieved. Um, I feel this emperor wants to tell you like, hey, look, I've seen what you've done and I'm really impressed. Like you're really successful. You've done a lot of healing. Like, you know, this emperor wants to acknowledge that they see the work that you have put in. They see how far you have come. And loads of cards flew out then. They actually really are impressed by what you've achieved. And this is sincere. Um, I do think they will admit that as well. I feel this person will say, you know, I am actually really impressed with you. And um, I want you to know that I'd like to make some kind of peace offer. I want to make peace with you. I don't want to stay in a situation which is toxic to both of us. I want to be free of this it's almost as if this emperor is saying look we need to talk things through because there's issues here which we haven't resolved you know they've been left unresolved and queen of rods it's almost like this person thought you were both stuck in this 
and now they're realizing actually you've been moving forwards like you're giving off this energy of being very independent and powerful focused on your success story but queen of rods is you know really successful really passionate you know she follows her inspiration so that's what this person is seeing on the outside they're seeing how um inspired you are and how successful you've become and they feel so kind of like envious of it um it's almost like they now feel like they're the only ones stuck in this and they thought that you were both experiencing the same feelings of sadness and um you know you are both having to heal and it's like this person realizes oh shit you've actually healed and i've not um i'm still hung up on this so here it is here's the offer two of wands two of rods making a very big decision and you see how there's two hands here it feels like this person's going to ask you to make a decision it's up to you that's what they're going to say it's up to you i don't i don't mind what happens here it's your choice but they're gonna present some kind of offer um because with that two of rods they feel like there's been a crossroads here and it's like this person finally takes that step and gets off the crossroad they make a decision and they're approaching with this very light approach um it's not anything big it may even just be a message of recognition or appreciation um, so it's a very light approach but ultimately they have made a decision and they now want you to make a decision queen of cups do you still love me that's what this comes down to do you still love me do you still want to give to me do you still want me in your life the queen of cups is so loving and nurturing and this person's going to try to fill that cup up they're going to try to offer you something so sweet this person's going to be like look i've got the sweetest nectar of them all no pun intended um you know they really want you to drink what they have to offer but you're not just drinking from this cup without looking at what other cups are available i feel like they they want to try to to bridge this gap and repair things but you're looking into the future as well and wondering whether this is what you want so there is a big decision coming up guys i'm not gonna lie king of swords air sign perhaps doesn't have to be we've also got water fire energy on the feminine side but this king of swords is someone who's going to communicate you know they definitely are planning a message i feel like they're also hiding behind this message so what they say may not be what they want to say it could be that there's other things that this person would like to talk to you about but they don't feel able to have that conversation so they're kind of like hiding behind this message being like oh i hope they don't read too much into it i hope they don't see you know my true intentions i feel like this person's very embarrassed or shy so yeah you know this message is going to come by surprise and i do feel it's going to change things and i also think there's going to be more messages to come high priestess some kind of mystery or secret is going to be revealed the high priestess asks you to trust your intuition about this asks you to stay grounded and stay empowered and um, the high priestess knows all so i feel like you already know the answer you already know what's coming you see this you feel it so trust all of those instincts that you have and yeah prepare for some kind of mystery to be revealed if you've been wondering what's going on with this person you're about to find out the tower i can't end on the tower so i will get another card but the tower is a major shake-up this is divine intervention this is this person's world is crumbling and they're realizing everything they had been trying to build was built on a faulty foundation because they were trying to build on lies and deception and secrets and not being honest with themselves and everything's come crashing down on this person to get them to realize the truth to realize their truth so a huge tower moment has happened here and i also feel there's going to be a big tower moment happening within this connection very soon seven of cups finally out of fantasy land and back in reality if you've been experiencing lots of 5d kind of visions and stuff like connecting with this person through dreams and meditation there's about to be a shift here where you see that kind of like fantasy world end and something happening for 3 days. so this really is going to be quite huge guys um but yeah this is someone who is 
unable to live in illusion anymore and has to see the truth okay my loves i hope you enjoyed today's daily tarot reading let me know what resonated in the comments i will see you back here tomorrow for our next daily tarot reading but do let me know what resonated with you and i will see you soon